mean, as a coach, you, you always hope that you can, uh, you know, affect some change and, and, and get things done. And, and uh, yeah, I, I was happy. I mean, I saw them play in Bhubaneswar in, in, in the World Cup. We, we, I was coaching Holland at that point and, and, uh, and we played against them in, in the quarterfinal and Holland just won. But I knew that, that this team was, uh, has uh, huge potential. One of the good things was that we had, had Chris Sorello, who was uh, assisting um, uh, Harindra uh, at, at the time. And, and Chris, Chris was, uh, I, I coached Chris at Australia for, for five or six years, so he, he understood the way that I wished to play. And, and so the team was moving along to, towards that, so it was really just, just making sure that, that we continued that path. And, uh, and I mean, the fitness is the same with Robin Arkell has been doing a great job for that, so yeah. It was really just just uh, tweaking those little things. I think it is important. I think uh, that and the Hockey India League were, um, enabled our players to have a bit of belief. You know, I think they they understood what it took or takes to 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 win at the, at the highest level. And uh, and I think you saw that in the in the third and fourth playoff. The major things were were the heat of, of Tokyo, and that that turned out to be be pretty valid. I think we we played. Uh, three round games in, in the heat of the day and then two of the three playoff games were also in the heat. So that was a, a factor. But also the, the team first factor was what was important for me. And, and, uh, and so that, I think they're probably the, the major, the major thing. I don't think you can ever count it completely out. You know, uh, I think that's modern hockey. When, when, you, when you lead, teams are trying to, to get back at you and, and score. And so that, that's always there. But, but we actually had a game against New Zealand in the uh, test event back in 2019. And after that, we, we, we did a fair bit of work on, on uh, talking about the mentality of, of the players during that last time and really trying to stay, stick to focus on, uh, on task orientation, stick with the task. And that's, I think, I think one of the good things about, uh, about for example, the Australian uh, loss was that we, we actually played pretty well. And when you look at the, at the numbers behind the, the loss, then, then the, uh, we, we could have quite easily played that game again. And it was uh, three all, three two, that sort of numbers. So getting the players back was, was a little bit easier than, than if, for example, that seven one was real. You understand what I mean? So, so basically, you know, that every time they went into the circle, they, they scored, so yeah. Yeah, well, that's the first time that we'd played the full Belgian team for uh, well since since World Cup, I think, in 2018. So, yeah, I, I think it was it was difficult because we we of course were not able to play any games for three and a half months before the Olympics. So it wasn't an ideal uh, preparation from a competition point of view. So maybe uh, you know I think that that also plays a factor. Um, and I think though what was, was good in that game is that we could have, we were 2-1 up, we could have put it to 3-1, 4-1, but uh, we, we missed those opportunities and um, that's telling. Yeah, well that, that's, that's the, of course the, the next step is to, is to try and make these guys better and, and that will be our, our uh, strategy for the next 12 months, 18 months is trying to, to work out what are the things that, that we need to do to get better. I've got some ideas. I'm sure the team also has some ideas, but we'll also be <laughs> analysing the Olympics a bit more, a bit closer, and see what what sort of things that uh, that other teams are doing, and especially to us. I I, th I think we are very nicely placed. Put it that way. I, I think there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, we still need need to get more consistent uh, across quarters and across games. Um, I also think we we need to be still creating more quality opportunities. Yeah. Well, I. I I think you're, you're, you're continually uh, assessing the, the players and, and each time they go out, they, they give you a better idea as to what, what their future will hold. Thank How's you. that? Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you.